So for today's little project, I'm going to take this 13 inch stainless steel tom and turn it into a double headed tom. So these are just scraps of um, a 13 inch shell I taped together. That way I can put it inside here and um, mark the holes without denting the shell. So. Got my uh, punch. Putting my dad's old drill press to use. Uh, it's one of the pieces of equipment he, he left me. Um, so what I did was I just took those uh, 13 inch uh, scraps and screwed them to this kind of homemade jig, just so as I'm drilling through it, it doesn't dent it as well. It's always good to use a little oil uh, when you're drilling too steel too. So now that I got the holes drilled, I'm just gonna take this little die grinder with um, a deburring tip and get rid of the sharp edges on the inside from punching through. You could do it with a file, but seeing I have the shop and the equipment, I might as well use it. Um, probably not gonna show you my whole shop right now because it's a complete disaster, but anyways. <laughs> that makes short work of it. noticed when I bought this set that somebody had uh, taken off the clip mounts and drilled it for the regular floor tom mount, um, floor tom leg mount, tom mount. Uh, they're pretty much standard for both. Um, so what I did was I took a, a backing plate I had instead of just the washes that he had on there and I bored out these holes so it would fit over um, the little nubs coming out of the tom mount. So now when I put it back together, It's going to be nice and clean. You're not going to see any of those holes and it's going to uh, add a little support to that whole area. Right like that. So as this is just a quick project, I'm not going to like go crazy trying to get the scratches out of it or anything like that. I'm just going to hit it with some chrome polish real quick and uh, try to shine it up. Let's get that um, metal polish off of this. You can see it's still got scratches and stuff in it, but oh well. It'll be shiny now. So fortunately, I'm a parts hoarder, and I had all the little cup washes and uh, little screws in my pot stash. So I got all the, the cup washes, all the screws, all the lugs I had, extra lugs. Um, and I got a 13 inch hoop right here. It's probably not Ludwig, I don't think it is. It's a, definitely not. Um, but I'm not too, too concerned, it's a converted concert Tom. All right, let's whip this thing back together.
So this is that ugliness from the old uh, clip mount. So put the tom bracket back on and uh, the little plate that I opened up. I'm still gonna have to use the, uh, the little cone washes as uh, that plate sits below the little nubs now. I know you guys saw me use my little right angle uh, impact on the lugs. I've done so many of these. I know um, what the torque of this thing is. And I know where to stop to not break a lug or anything like that. I usually only do a couple little zaps with it. And then I go back and I tighten them by hand just to double check. But, uh. Don't go crazy with these things and start breaking lugs. Uh, you know, vintage lugs aren't super cheap. There she is in all her glory. Not perfect. But like I said, I'm getting a, a 14 inch tom for this stainless kit anyways. I just wanted something to tide me over in the meantime. And um, these concert toms don't have a ton of value anyways. So uh, I'm getting a 14. I might as well have a usable 13 too. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys have asked for a tuning video and I probably will do one eventually but I I really don't have any big secrets there's tons of really good tuning videos out there I basically just use one of these keys and I go finger tight all the way around as as tight as I can do it from this little nub and then um usually about a quarter of a turn after that gets me to where I, about where I want to be and then I just dial in in front of each lug like uh, thousands of other drummers do uh, it's just some of its trial and error with some drums like to be tuned a little higher some uh, a little lower it, every drum has its sweet spot so um, this just being a video about converting this over to a double headed I'll save the tuning video for later uh, I will get to it, but um, like I said, I don't have any real big secrets. I, again, I just, you know, finger tight as much as I can get on that nub and then about a quarter turn past there. And I also go by feel. Um, I've tuned so many drums over the years um, and you'll hear other drummers talk about that in their tuning videos that a lot of it is just the, the feel on the uh, key itself. Um, so that's about it for me and, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, content, please like, subscribe, share all that fun stuff. You can follow me on Instagram. I appreciate everybody watching. And, uh, this was a fun little project. Took me about probably two hours start to finish. Um, this stuff just takes time, but, uh, luckily I finished up all my other stuff I had to do today and I had a little bit of time left over to do this. So thanks for watching.